My name is Jojo Mendez. And my name is Jemaya Mendez. And, and we're, we're from, from California. California and, you're and you're watching. Oh my gosh. What's going on, guys? Hope you're having a great day today. It's been a little while since I've seen you. It's not because I don't want to see you or anything. I've just been really busy. But today that all ends. It's all because of this guy right here. I know. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. I have to go back to Canada, unfortunately. Hey, by the way, if you don't know who this is, this is my good friend Mo. He's from Canada, from Ottawa. He's been vlogging here the last couple days. If you have been missing me, I'll leave a link to his channel. It's called Live a Little Vlogs. He did throw out, what, how many vlogs? Maybe two? Two. I got like four more in the bank to edit. <laughs> yeah. We've been, we've been like filming so much while he's been here. I, I think we filmed like four five videos I'm, I'm not sure i mean we even like we got stuck on an island together had to get rescued if you haven't seen that video go check it out you can check one out on his channel too dirt star pranks but yeah today's gonna be a good day i also got a good friend from california that just flew in he's at the airport that i'm dropping mo off right now at so yeah good times today but yeah i haven't missed you give me a kiss we're in a bit of a pickle here we're about maybe 25 minutes away from the airport and there is a ton of traffic up ahead. I think there's a car accident or something. Mo has to be at the airport at least an hour and a half early because, you know, security checkpoints, things like that. I hate flying. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, I'd rather drive. Yeah. But I don't know, when, when you're somewhere really fast though, it's kind of nice. You're like, oh man, I'm glad I didn't drive that. Alright guys, it's time for me to say goodbye to Omar. Peace. Peace out, man. Peace. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. Hospitality, give me. Anytime, man. He's the best. Not the best. My house is a mess, and like this guy was hungry the whole time. All that was about. Pretty much. All right, man. Take care. Safe travels. Hey, call me when you get there. Sure. All right, peace. All right, my friend Ernest is waiting here for me too. I gotta pick him up and try not to run out of gas here. But he's in the other terminal. There's there's two. There's red and then there's blue. We're in blue right now. So I'm pretty sure Ernest was flying through Southwest maybe. Hopefully he knows my calling. Give me a kiss! Oh, what up, peeps? Give me a kiss! Give me a kiss! Give me a kiss! Oh, <laughs> I love it. What's up, bro? What's up, man? Good to see ya. Good to see you yeah, too, man. Thanks for picking me up. So Ernest is here for some business. If you don't know who this guy is, he's the one that got me into the whole VR thing. If you're not a part of that yet, I know a lot of you came to Amaze, which is awesome, thank you. If you got a VR headset, we did a big giveaway. It came from this guy, so big ups now to him. Now it's all this thank guy right you. here. Well, but you guys sent them <laughs> and hooked them up for free. Yeah. There was a lot of VR headsets. Yeah. Like They gave me 10 to give away, but I had to give them away to like family and stuff. I did pick a few of you yeah. to get some, but how many did you guys give away? Uh, we gave away 100, and 100. Uh, once we expand to Android, we plan to, to do the same. Sweet. Man, I didn't know you gave away. I, I got so many yeah. emails. People were like, oh, I won, I won. I'm like, damn, how many did they give away? <laughs> yeah, we gave away. Yeah, it was a pretty big investment, but... I mean, that's the big thing, right? Seeing is believing with VR. So you got to get a headset into their hands. Have to. They have yeah. to really see for themselves what it's all about. Because mm -hmm. it is amazing. <laughs> if you have an iPhone, go download the app. You can watch some of my vlogs in 3D VR. There's nothing like it on YouTube that exists. It's a whole nother way to hang out with me, man. Trust me. So, yeah, it's cool. 
We're at one of my favorite breakfast joints. I brought you guys here like on an old vlog with a friend of mine. He's on a whole nother time change. Eight o'clock a.m. right now. What time is it in Cali right now? Then? It's five a.m. I didn't sleep on the plane, so it's like I'm uh, I'm partying all night, keeping it going. <laughs> yeah, Late I'm sure he's tired. Are you not gonna sleep at all? Um, I don't think I can. That's gonna wake you up. Mm -hmm. Don't get that in San Francisco. <laughs> no? I got a vegetarian omelet. It's really hot, be careful. You want some country press steak? Look at this, look at this. Mmm! <laughs> Bomb, yeah. right? This guy ate pretty good, would yeah. you say? And I ate pretty good too. I just haven't eaten my fruit. That, that'd be my dessert. We've been sitting here for about maybe two hours just BSing. We ate our food, still eating my, my fruit. But Ernest, like, he just showed me a video he made and he used his iPhone to film most of it. I sent him some clips. It's just like a little promo and it, it was very professionally done. Like, I'm, I learned from the master. Hello. I just wanted to make a special announcement and give you the opportunity to be a part of something really big. I have decided to partner with Amaze, which is a really cool brand new social media platform for creators to make content in VR. Legit virtual reality experience. I've made some videos. You can check them out if you download the app. I've worked with Amaze for a few months now and it is truly amazing. It brings fan interaction to a whole new level. I do sessions um, with my fans. I bring them to the studio. I bring them to the gym. I bring them into my everyday life. So it's really cool. I'm a full-time creator and professional juggler. So when Amaze came to me about being one of the creators on their platform, I was instantly on board because I knew juggling was gonna look really awesome in VR. What I didn't realize is that everything looks good in VR. Uh, just talking to the camera looks amazing. The fact that it's 4K quality, 3D, people have said they feel like they're sitting right there with me, which is right up my alley for what I was looking for. And they build all their own rigs in-house, they 3D print it, and when they're done, they kind of look like fun Muppets. I'll never forget the first time I experienced the maze. I was in Play This Live DC, and I put the goggles on for the first time, and I was literally transported into San Francisco, and it was such a surreal experience, and right then and there, I knew I had to partner with uh, Amaze. I promise you'll be amazed. Bringing Ernest back to the airport, he has to fly out to Miami. Thought he was gonna hang out with me for the full day. But hey, I didn't know this. This is actually really neat. If you're a part of the military, you get to stay at, it's called the USO. I've never even, I never knew about this. But what exactly is it? It's like a, it's like a, an airport lounge, but for, for military personnel and for veterans. So if you if you serve in the military and you're you're traveling a lot but you don't have the baller status to <laughs> go into the like the Imperial Lounge, you can go into the USO and it's all it's all comped. And you can sleep so there. Right now I'm having slept yet, it'll be nice to just pass out a little bit. <laughs> right, he's pretty tired. So I'm gonna leave him here. We're back at the airport. We had a good breakfast and we got to hang out and talk for, for a bit. It was, it was really nice. It was awesome catching him, yeah. I'm gonna Anytime go visit him. Face. I don't know, man. Stay here, man. <laughs> well, I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna go visit him and my VR fams out in San Fran, probably like in February, maybe end of January, February. Yeah, probably around there. But um, I do have one thing to for you to take back mm -hmm. to Amaze and ready to see. Oh, it's in, what? It's, it's in here. What is it? Give me a kiss. Oh, it's Give me awesome. Kiss. Give me a yeah. kiss. Uh, here you go. Oh man, this is awesome. Take them all. Okay. Them all. Yeah, take them all. Dude, Wait. thank you so much. I have, I have a bunch of them. Yo, check this I out. I got a, oh my gosh, bracelet. Check it out. It's called a famlet. Yeah, the there oh my is. gosh. And it says, give me a kiss on it. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Last time Ernest was here visiting, <laughs> he was saying, give me a kiss, like just like how I say it. But he was saying it like randomly, like without, like, like he was, you were even saying it where, around Sean. Sean was like getting annoyed. Yeah, he's, I annoy him a lot actually. 
<laughs> for watching this video, Sean, we love you. Give we me love kiss. you. Give me kiss. Ernest says he, he has something here too. So, he's not the only one with gifts. We got some gifts too. We got some uh, some koozies for the fam. Oh, cool. Yeah. I love those. Awesome. Amaze.us. Amaze.us. Amaze us. Amaze. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Dude, I love it. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, I get all those? I know you don't you don't really drink, but no. For, uh, for soda cans and could stuff. Could put uh, some Pepsi in there. Yeah. And I'll, yeah. I'll give a couple to the fans yeah. too. Awesome. Hey, thanks, man. Yeah, I appreciate yeah. that. Of course. Well, we're, we're trading out some cameras here too. These are the updated cameras. They have new lenses on them. So this has a Sigma lens. Okay. So this is has a wider field of view, a broader field of view. It says Amaze this time. Finally says Amaze now, not it, Off 2. If you guys didn't know this, yeah. their original company name was Off 2 before, but yeah. I like I like Amaze. Amaze, yeah. You guys want to know what camera I use? There it is right there. And I'll tell you what, that price right there is actually very generous for the type of camera this is. So probably one of the best cameras I've ever used. I'm not even a real big Canon fan, I'm more of a Sony fan, but this is a great camera. I'm at like one of the best, best buys that's here in South Tampa. I have to get a camera bag because that camera that Ernest gave me, it wouldn't fit in that case. So I have to buy like a little bag for it. This is like, they have like a huge selection of cameras. Check this out, man. These are some really heavy duty camcorders. Wow. Dobby Pocket Drone. Huh. Oh, I have that camera too. A lot of people don't know this, but you can get really good deals at Best Buy if you shop at their open box item sales. In other words, you know, like that Galaxy Tab right there, 244. I actually got my camera, my a7 II, I got it on sale for about a thousand bucks. It sells for $1,500 and sometimes they just want to get rid of this stuff so they'll give you an additional 10% off but you have to ask the, the manager for it. They wheel and deal on these open box items so make sure you check. If you want something, check the open box item. You can save hundreds of dollars. You can even make money off of it too if you really want to. My name is Leslie Caulfield, and along with being a mom, I am also a creator at heart. I've always enjoyed adding little extra creative touches around my house. When I first heard about 3D printing, I thought it was really cool, but I didn't think someone like myself could do it. One day I was online and I came across Robo 3D. I am leaving Best Buy empty-handed. That is the first time ever. I have to meet my friend up, one of my good friends from like elementary school probably one of those only friends that you still talk to everybody has one at least one if you don't sorry but yeah he's going on a cruise tomorrow and he was asking me where I got my I have like a waterproof pouch where you can put your phone and stuff great for going on the river or boat you know anywhere where you're gonna be wet well I have it and I told him he could use it but I told him I meet him like 10 minutes ago so I'm about like 20 minutes away from him right now. He's at the bank, I guess, getting money for his cruise. And he, he leaves, I think at one o'clock, so I gotta meet him up. This is what I was talking about right here. It's like a waterproof pouch. Only paid 10 bucks for it, but keeps your, your camera or your phone like dry. Pretty smart. What's up, homie? I have a funny story about that cat right there. One day I left my windows open just like my friend Carlos did here. I get in my car to go to work and the, the cat is in the, the passenger seat. Like, okay. dude, could you imagine the, the look on my face? Like, <laughs> I, like, I got so scared. Like, I just, I look over and I'm like, hey. <gasps> yeah, yeah. A raccoon, a raccoon or something. Yeah. Right there, <laughs> uh, oh yeah, you should have got the punch in there. I just got a punch to the ribs right now, but <laughs> it was well deserved. Can I, because can I give you the no 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 more punches i gotta get a punch from my mom right now <laughs> slap in the face. yeah because he almost died yeah freaking uh, idiot but uh yeah yeah this, we've been friends since fifth grade it's been a long time and this he was is like crying. my brother he I, called me crying i called him crying because yeah, he, i'm sorry he, he upset me because i thought i lost him 
Hey, but you know what? He would have been down to go with me. I would have been yeah. down, but I would have never done that. I would have had my life's best, you know, tied off the, the kayak. We, we did it wrong. We you know, tie off the kayak, you know, have a, a, a little, you know, there's the little thing that they sell the, at the boat place, this little beacon that you turn it on when the emergency, you know, so it's Coast Guard's beacon. I was thinking about getting a flare gun okay. too. Yes, but, you uh, gotta go with that. If you're going out to an island like that. You didn't watch my video, did you? We were just watching Oh, you did? It. Oh, no, no punches. I'm a little the, sister. Oh, damn. Right, no. Oh, God. Oh, you punch like a girl. Ah. Yeah, oh. right. That's, that's why the one that that's, made you cringe the most. Why are you doing that? Oh, that felt good. <sighs> you, don't need to be, you don't need to be doing what he's yeah. doing. I'm going to have one bigger shoulder than the other. <laughs> <laughs> you know you know how sore my arms are from rowing all the Check way over there? Check that out. Yeah, exactly. You see? This is from paintball. What is that? It's called the grind. Those are bounces. Yeah, yeah go ahead. I'm used to it. <laughs> I actually take this with me on the river, and it keeps the phone nice and uh, dry there. You know what? You could even maybe take pictures from like yeah, that. Yeah, that's what I was yeah, thinking. I'm going to flip, flip it the other way when I put it in here. Oh, take some underwater pictures. Like oh, that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you going to jump off? No, the we're going on the beach. Here. I mean, oh, we're going to Grand Cayman and, uh, here, and uh, I should have. Man, you know what? I'm I, gonna go to the ruins. I am going to the ruins. I didn't even think about it. I had an underwater camera I could have let you borrow. Oh, really? I, 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 didn't I didn't know that. that. I, I didn't know you were, I, I didn't even, you know, I'm not even using my mind. It's all good, but I'm going to, yeah. like I was saying, take pictures of the ruins and everything like that. So All right, I want to see those pictures. Oh, yeah, I will. I don't have Facebook, so. What, wait, do you have Instagram? You don't have you Facebook? Facebook? Not anymore. Oh, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. He's so pretty. This is my mama. No. Isn't she beautiful? It's okay. I don't have makeup on either. I like your Christmas tree. It's cute. You didn't get a real one this year. You always, no, you always get a real one. That's what happens when you quit working. You go, I want a good one. My mom is retired now. She can't afford a real Christmas tree. But at least you could keep using that like every day. Or every, uh, yeah, every day. You good will special. $25. You know, I have a friend that has a, a he has a Christmas tree that's decorated and after Christmas he puts it in his closet fully decorated and then when Christmas comes around the next year he takes it out of the closet and puts it back. <laughs> Can I wake her up? Yeah. Can I wake her up? Look at I love you. She hasn't seen your face yet. Oh. Oh. Hi, baby. Hi. <laughs> I think she just <laughs> She's like. <laughs> oh, that's the first. What are you doing, Mama? I miss you. Oh, let go of the keys. Look, oh, oh, look, 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 look. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Look, look. My sister and I just did some Snapchats. Well, this one. Here, I'm gonna share it with you. I wonder if it works with a cat. Cats love when you rub that little that little spot right there between the tail and the back. Like they just they go crazy. Peroxide. Yeah. What a pretty girl. I did it last time. <laughs> Can you believe I have my air conditioning on right now? It's 70, I mean, it's not It's not really, really warm, but 76 out. Uh, that, that's warm, that's warm, I, I like it warm. Melissa just called me just now and she said that she found a dog roaming around her mom's house. So I'm gonna get home and help her find its owner. If you ever find a, a loose dog out and you wanna find its owner, Make sure to check Craigslist first. A lot of people post on Craigslist ca classifieds. You could also call your local like animal shelter. Sometimes people will call there and they'll leave their phone numbers in case they 
someone does bring their dog or whatever, or cat or pet pig. Hey, is that the puppy? Hi, baby. Aww. How cute. It looks like Cookie a little bit. I think she. I think it's a Maltese. Hi. Where did you find him? Right by my mom's. You didn't ask anybody. Like I did. I knocked on like three people, four people's houses. And the people I think whose it is, they said that she wasn't home, so I'm gonna go check over there. Just checked on classifieds on Craigslist, and I cannot find this dog. I went back all the way till November. Aww. I get so sad seeing people's lost pets. I wonder if this is the dog that died, that we tried to rescue. It looks a lot like him. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call. I just called the owner of those dogs that went missing. It was right around the same time frame that we found that dog that got hit by the car. And it, it, wasn't, it wasn't him because they actually found their dogs. You know what makes me mad is like when people have lost dog stuff like on Craigslist or somewhere like an ad mm -hmm. and they never remove their posting like. Did you run away? I hope you were you were happy and you were just maybe being a little mischievous. Before I put any kind of ads on a classified section, I'm gonna try to find his owner first in the area that we found him. Hopefully it's a it's a happy day for the owner and pet. But you know, if I had to keep him, I mean he's a keeper. Look how look how good my kind of dog, man. Let's see that. That's how Cookie get down, and then, you know, Luna, she's all over the place. All over the place, she like, runs into things. The other day I had a mirror on the counter, she knocked it down, broke it, like, yeah. I like dogs that just chill. This is cool. We spoke with neighbors and they said that they had these people that live right here had a white dog. We're gonna see if these are the, you know, the owners of this cute little guy over here. This isn't your dog? No, 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 oh. no, no. I wonder if, um, hold on, let me get my key. Okay, thank you. Not the owner, but I think she knows who the owner is. I'm gonna follow her. Hopefully it is. She has this lady has a ton of dogs. Oh How many? Maybe she's a rescue. No, like five or six. I mean, it's not a ton, but. That's gonna be us. Mm -mm. <laughs> I found him right there. Oh, and this is where she's taking us. He was right yeah. here. I mean, I stopped at this house. I knocked on the door, nobody answered. I knocked on this door, I knocked on that door. Nobody answered. What, did you knock on this door? Yeah. The neighbors said they don't think they have a dog. Dogs like to wander, and I've seen them wander quite far long. distance. Yeah, you don't have your seatbelt on. No, I don't. Okay. You're looking for a dog? Is this your dog? You're welcome. Oh my god, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Oh my god, where did you find him? Well, she found him. He was on the corner. Up the road. I live right there on Col and yeah. he escaped. Uh, and I'm like, he's a sweet, he's a sweet dog. He I, is a I sweet. was looking on Craigslist to see if somebody posted an ad or something. No, it's not even my dog. I was watching him. I'm a pet sitter and he had been with us for the weekend. Oh, okay. And I, I only went to work like maybe four hours, and he was fine this morning. Oh wow! I can't even see where he escaped from. You don't even know, huh? No, I. Well, I seen him walking so. All my yard, and I could not find where he escaped from. Thank you so much. I no really problem. appreciate it. Hey, no problem. Thank What's your name? You. Stacy. Nice to meet you. Yeah, he was in the road, and I'm like, oh gosh, I don't I want know, this dog and, getting hit. And his owner doesn't even have a collar for him. Yeah, we need to get oh, a collar God, for him. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Take care. Thank God bless. Okay, good news. Pet detective worked out today. Hey, you know, I actually thought about doing that. How cool would, would it be like to have a show 
where you help people find their lost like animals like that would be cool that would be a great show I, I thought about doing that actually like just actually I, I did actually do it I didn't never made a video about it but I actually did like just I didn't have nothing to do like one day and I was looking to see if I could find people's lost animals and I, I actually did try to help this lady she had a lost dog and I printed a bunch of flyers and put them out in her area but could never never find her dog yeah it was kind of sad because that those it's like losing your your family member man well that's not even her dog she's sitting could man, you imagine the owners like coming dog. home and like oh my gosh i, I, lost I was dog. gonna i was gonna be like hey let me get your number so you can pet and then i'm thinking in the back of my head you're fired <laughs> <laughs> yeah i don't want you pet sitting my dog i got a lot of stuff to do like move so we're gonna we're gonna let you go i'm not gonna probably be doing like daily uploads all the time especially this week because i am moving but I will have you come along and pretty soon, like within a couple days, you're gonna see my new house. So that's gonna be a cool video. All right, take care. Give me a kiss. Can you give me a kiss? Yeah. No. <laughs>